Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the uh, eh, kind of the most unused part of my layout, the Blue Heron Paper Company. Uh, I'm not a big switching guy. My last couple of videos proved it. Uh, switching is a giant pain in the butt when you're filming, running the train, and hitting some switches that are manual. But uh, one of the things I did down here on purpose was nothing is affixed. I can move everything around except for some of the uh, tanks here. Everything is movable, so I can just put them down on my workshop or the, on the workbench. I do like how that one turned out. That looks kind of cool. I'll get my fat head out of the way. But what's nice is I can just put these over here on the workbench. In this two-stall engine house, it disguises the Caddo power lead. And I found this really weird transformer. <laughs> it's like from a toy train or something. But uh, we'll use it for a second. And uh, I'm using my little tripod that I had to um, tape down because it's too small. It's top heavy with the mount and the camera. But we're going to shift it around. And then hopefully... Things work right. We're going to do a little street running. Uh, finished up painting my the top of the smokestack, and I painted the bell gold, <laughs> better than the blue from the Caddo, or I'm sorry, from the Micro Trains kit. And one of the wonders was I found in my last video. You saw, if you're paying attention to this lesson, which I know you were, you saw this GP20 sitting there about like this. And if you were noticing, it doesn't have its little top piece. Well, now, of course, I can't find it. But I found it over here in the yard, or <laughs> down here on the leads. So anyway, we're going to change over, and uh, hopefully we'll do a little running here. So putting that transformer wiped off the tracks a little bit, and it looks like, okay, switcher works. The uh, GP20 doesn't work until he gets his top piece on, which I found way over here. So we'll make him look a little more normal. There, look at that. We'll move him down here. So, the Blue Heron Paper Company, which is no longer, was down here next to uh, the Willamette River. And, you know, you use the waterfalls and the river as a source of power for years and years. Uh, it had a very steep lead up to the Southern Pacific Main, which is still there. Um, you know, there somebody put a really cool video on YouTube of um, flying a drone around the abandoned mill. Uh, this is a really uh, small representation, but when I put all the buildings on, you, you, get, you get the idea. And so if we bring our GP20 back. And I didn't put powered switches in here because it's um, on the board. It's not on the foam. They would get wood chips from the Southern Pacific delivered and would turn into paper and all that. So, And then it would come up this lead. And I measured it out scale, it's 6.6. Uh, .6. And it comes up to that uh, switch that I hate so much up at the top. But hey, that's real life. Yeah, 
Yeah, sometimes I wish I would have went ahead and put the powered switches on. But I don't do a lot of switching down here. Yeah, look at that. Cheap switches. Anyway, we'll take our GP20 off. Put our trusty SW1500. Now back in the, gosh, the 80s and the 90s, I would go home. I'd come home Highway 99, go underneath the tunnel, and it would come up on the other side of the tracks over there. Um, and oftentimes when I was working swing shift, I would get stabbed right here because of street running. And they would usually use two of these, and they'd be shoving cars all around, moving box cars and wood chip cars and all that. Whoop. Yeah, this transformer's bizarre. Hey, there's my red blazer. Look at that. Not the greatest transform in the world. But they would sit here and do street running. There's a couple videos on YouTube of it. I didn't make it, but somebody better than me did them over the, uh, in the 90s and the early 2000s. Now it's been, hey, look at that. A note to self, tighten up your tripod. Anyway, you get the idea. So we'll put the buildings back. We'll move a couple cars around. Okay, we're putting some buildings back. What's nice is I can I can place them wherever I want. And I think I hear a train coming. That was a good thing about being down here. Whatever came by the SP main. Oh, that looks pretty. So this building here, this mill, I painted up white and weathered it because it is the same as, exactly the same as this mill. Just different paint, different weather. So he can go, he usually sits here. There's no rhyme or reason down here, just put him wherever you want. And then I realized, setting this video up, that uh, all those cool SP hopper cars, the chip cars, they were my sons. So I, I found the one. We'll go up and get it. Uh, well, I'm in the Pacific. I'll set it up here, and we'll see if our little switcher can get up there and pick it up off the main. And our uh, Zephyr is going to come to a stop here. Because we have the main fouled. But we'll see how this goes. I found, I forgot that I had one of these uh, like toy diesel horn thingies and uh, went ahead and wired it up. I'd put a blue hair and paper company on it. Um, I don't think I'll use it as a diesel horn. It's a, a little annoying, so I'll probably undo it. That's probably why I had it. But let's see if we can uh, roll up there. and We don't want to delay this uh, train too long. I used up all these. This is, uh, I think, Atlas track down here. And uh, it's not the greatest, and it's just nailed right to the the track or to the the board itself okay we're gonna pause a second all right bring him back oh yeah not the greatest transformer in the world but he goes back there out of sight little hand of god switching over here and we'll bring him up the hill Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think we went beyond our block there.
Well, with that uh, hard coupling, it, it did couple up, so we'll bring it back down the hill. Yeah, this is a crap transformer. Look at this thing. But at least all the electricals work. All right, let's try that again. All right, let's see if we can get them things rolling here. Our passenger train gets a clear block. We're going to bring our uh, lovely Willamette and Pacific hopper car back to us. Full of, it's going to go in and get full of wood chips. Make sure our street is blocked off. Angle here. Not the greatest track, not the greatest engine, and certainly not the greatest transformer.